Gaming Bolt presents 15 times failed QTEs made you look like a complete genius. Quick time events are present in almost all of our games these days, but failing these button presses sometimes ends in disaster, both for the character on screen and the player holding the controller. Regardless, failing a QTE in one of these games ends up being quite the comedic experience. Here are 15 times failed QTEs made you look like a complete genius. Heavy Rain Heavy Rain is a complex tale of murder, betrayal, and intrigue that is all about the choices you make and how you react to every scenario that unfolds. But if you want to sit back and enjoy the ride, that's okay too. You might just end up watching every character bite the dust as they wait helplessly for you to press one button that could save their lives. Spider-Man 3 Spider-Man 3 is about as subtle as a wrecking ball. Failure on the player's part is immediately met with its visual equivalent. Fail to shoot a web at a building and you'll hit the pavement. Failure hits you in the face just as much as it hits Peter Parker. Spider-Man played a big role in many of our childhoods, but in this game, he's just a nuisance who can't seem to even do the simplest of tasks. Spider-Man Web of Shadows the Web of Shadows, just like Spider-Man 3, is not exactly subtle in the way it depicts failure. Every time the players fail to meet a specific button press, you get to witness exactly what Spidey goes through with that failure, whether it's hitting the concrete head first or receiving a blast of electricity to the face. Until Dawn Until Dawn is a teen slasher movie that turned into an incredibly interactive experience. Make one wrong move and a saw can come out of nowhere and cleave your head clean off. Failure almost always means death in this game, and if you die, the story just continues without that character. Rambo the Video Game Why the developers of Rambo the Game thought it was a good idea to turn one of the most influential action films of all time into a QTE heavy experience still baffles us. Every minute of the game is filled with bullets, violence, and more machismo than can fit on one screen. Fail at any one of these and Rambo is met with just as bloody a death as he doles out to every unsuspecting soldier. You hunt a man like Rambo long enough. Sooner or later, you'll find yourself the one being hunted. You don't come back from that. I'm gonna get you. Resident Evil 5. Chris Redfield is a badass, but he's apparently no match for Wesker, especially when players go out of their way to complete no QTEs and just watch the superpowered villain toss the STARS agent around like an old rag. All it really amounts to is a series of failures that becomes increasingly more distressing. Press X to not die. What makes this title unique is that it's a game told entirely through recorded, live-action scenes. This also makes every failure much more entertaining to watch. Whether you're being beaten with a book or being stabbed to death with a knife, all it really is is a shot of a girl angrily killing the character. Press X to not die. Dude, seriously, how hard was that? Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair is one of the original games that was built almost entirely around the completion of QTEs, essentially solving visual puzzles that revolved around quickly hitting buttons, completing actions, and avoiding traps. 
Failure to meet these criteria led to death, but cartoonish, beautifully drawn death that never failed to elicit a chuckle from us. The Walking Dead Michonne Like the other games on this list, Telltale's The Walking Dead Michonne is all about choice and doing everything you can to not fail. But if you happen to, you'll just die in some unpleasant manner and be forced to watch a horrific death the developers dreamed up over and over again. <sighs> Wet. Wet is a bloody game from the get-go, but just try to let the game play itself and it will get a whole lot more bloody. Every failed QTE tends to end in the main character's death, and she never seems to die quietly or peacefully. She also ends up plastered to the pavement in a pool of her own or someone else's blood. <laughs> Shinmu. Shinmu is another game that progresses the story based almost entirely on player performance and choice. Miss the cue and you'll be left hanging, sometimes quite literally. If you want to succeed in the story, you need to be at the top of your game, or else you'll be the plaything of every other character in the game, and you'll be helpless to stop it. Ah. Hey, you! Uh. Sorry, sir! Hey, stop! Damn! Hey, what are you sorry. doing? Whoa. Need for Speed The Run When Need for Speed The Run was first announced, the game decided it would take the innovative step of letting the player venture outside of the vehicle and outrun other characters in QTE-driven segments. Don't press the button in time and the player will usually just tumble to their death. It's not fun, and it doesn't even make much sense. Assassin's Creed 2 Failing to meet QTEs in Assassin's Creed 2 means making Ezio look like a complete fool. Whether he's unsheathing his blades for the first time, not pressing the proper button means the dashing assassin simply won't execute the action. Thankfully, those around him will pick up the slack, but it still makes him seem more like a dunce than a pro. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. Are you deaf? Samuel, bring him the cloth. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into a wound. Are you ready? Now! Cazzo, here, I'll do it! Maybe we were wrong about you, Auditore. Knack 2 Knack is a cluster of strange orbs stuck together by a mystical energy. So when he dies or is hit by something, he tends to explode into a shower of different shapes. Fail any QTE in Knack 2, and he'll either fall helplessly to his death, or simply crumble to the ground. Regardless, it's pretty funny to watch. Beyond Two Souls Beyond Two Souls is a game all about player choice. The majority of the action is controlled through QTEs and choosing which path to take. No matter what you do, the events of the story continue to unfold, which leads to some pretty hilarious moments, especially when you simply slip up and the game continues to play out a scene, then things go horribly wrong. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. 